Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Senate Update. Today, I'm your host, Oryx. I kind of, I kind of edit the whole thing. You know, how it is. Um, I've seen a few requests for this, so I'm going to go ahead and knock this out now for a visual representation of how to scout your Grand Arena opponents. And since this is something that I've done a few times, I'm just going to go ahead and you know, knock it out and show how I do it. And granted, the way I do it, it's it's maybe not the best way, not the most efficient way exactly, I don't know what words to use, but I'm pretty sure that there's a few people who do do it this way. And at least for me, it has been shown to work, because when I used to do it, like, all the time, I was getting really good results. I've just been a little busy lately. Uh, and, well... You don't want to start out, go to your championships, go ahead and enter that. And on this screen, you find your opponent, which for me this week is Condor. And you want their ally code down at the bottom here. And that's pretty much it for what we want uh, in-game. So now we're going to go to swgoh.gg, which at this point, I hope you're familiar with this website, at least that it exists. Um, I think that all of our guilds at this point require at least having a .gg profile. And so you take that ally code you found, and you type it up here. So you have swgh.gg, do slash p, slash their ally code. Now I don't want to go all the way through this random person's profile, uh, so I'm going to use my own profile and act like I'm scouting myself. Okay, so here's the main profile page. You want to scroll down a bit, and on the side here, you find a tab that says GAC History. So, you click on that, and that takes you right to this screen. So here we have the separate rounds based on the date that they started, or the separate championships, and then here's each round within the championship. And at a base level, you can see the X, so lost, and then one and one. Um, so there's basically two things you want to keep an eye out for. What the person used on offense, and what they use on defense. And now, there's also two types of players, I guess. Two and a half types. There's the people who set the same defense every time, uh, which then also kind of translates to them having the same offense, roughly, because it's just all the same teams. Uh, you have people who change it up a lot of the time, just to keep it random looking. But then the point five, I guess, is the people who also, like high-end GAC players that scout every time, their offense and defense changes based on their opponent, which... That's how they end up being so good at GAC and helping them hit Kyber basically every time, is they know exactly what, how to use their roster against their opponents based on their opponent's habits. Now, recently, because I haven't been putting as much uh, effort into GAC, I'll be honest, I have turned into the person one that I described, which is having roughly the same defense every time. So if you see, here's round one. Oryx versus uh, Keith the Real. If I go to defense, and you can see... So here was my defense. We had Newt, Lead, Bosk, uh, Poggle, GG, Mon Mothma, Gas, Poe, and Qui-Gon Jedi. And there's a few you don't see, because the person didn't even attempt. I'm going to go to round two, which uh, only attacked once, and that was against that same Jedi team. And when we go to the third defense, we can see again there's Newt, Bosk, Poggle, uh, Mon Mothma, Poe, Qui-Gon, and Bastila. So you can take from this that for that whole month, this person, which is me, I had the same defense all three rounds, which at the same time means I would have the same offense each round. 
So we can see there's Rolo, Treya, CLS, uh, Palpatine, JTR, GBA, what's her name? Kira, Padme, uh, and some Talzin. Back to round two. Rolo, CLS, JTR, Padme, Palpatine, and Palpatine, JTR, Rolo, CLS, oh, Wampa. Um, Matt yeah, Dooku, GBA, and I did fleets this time as well, and you can see my two fleets I like to use. Negotiator and uh, Thrawn with Geos. So if you were the person scouting, you know, if you happen to be going against me, whatever, and you were going through and scouting, you could see that for the GAC, that was the 26th of January, you would know that I had the same offense and defense. So you could look at your own roster, and you can see, you know, okay, I know what teams will take down that Newt. I know how to beat Bosk. I know how to beat Poggle. So you could set your offense to make sure you have all those teams ready to go on e on attacking day. And you could just go through, and you can get a one, you know, attempt one, full clear, totally take out whatever teams. But you don't always want to use just one uh, one set of Grand Arenas to do your checking. So, you can go back to the 19th. And, again, you'll see actually the same results for me, because I've just been <laughs> kind of... What I've done instead for myself is I've kind of crafted what I believed would be a good defense and offense for how I want to use my own roster. But that doesn't always work. Being fluid against who you're going up against does work better. So, you know, during the scouting, here's a bunch of the same teams. And, you know, you'd be able to formulate your own defenses. Or your own offenses. Even if we go back to, uh, back to the 12th of January scrolling through and seeing all the same stuff. Now, if you notice, there's only three dates here. So, if we go up here to the search bar, you see that GAC equals 47, and you can get rid of that, that extra stuff. So, change that number, so we hit 46. Now, this will come in handy next month. After all these GACs end, we're going back to 5 versus 5. So, if you want to scout someone, it's not going to do you a whole lot of good scouting for 5v5s when all you get are results for 3v3s. So, we go up to that search bar, we change it, and now we have GAC 46. So now you can see the person's defenses that they set during 5v5. So you can look at me, and you can see, okay, I placed Geos, Bastila, Revan, uh, Night Sisters, Bosk, gas. And so now, you have extra results that will help you out. Uh, it'll help you next month. One thing to note, though, is in a month, a person's roster can grow you know, just enough that they can change up their teams. So, let's see, this happened the 29th of uh, December. So let's say the 29th of December, this person had a, if you had a six-star shock team, and then you go through all these 3v3s, and then, uh, I don't know when it'll start, but whenever the next GAC starts, the person now may have unlocked gas, and so they're going to probably want to use gas. So that's something you want to kind of keep an eye out for, is just making sure, uh, you know what the person has for the current point in time, but it still does help going back and seeing what kind of teams they place. Because in, in a month, I don't think someone will have a whole new team ready to go, especially in your higher end. So you can see some similar things popping up. There's Geos, Bastila Gas, um, Rolo Team. Let's go round three. 
Kraken, Missy Geos, Revan, Bastila, Gas, Boss, Rolo, Nice Sisters. And then, so from this point on, if you want to look at previous 5v5s, you'll have to stick to the top search bar. And then you go back to 45. And then if you look again, you can see the same teams. Or, you know, if they have any different for her rear scouting. So you can go ahead and just take a look and you can see what their 5v5 defenses tend to look at. Tend to look like. Um, and that's just, that's generally how I do it. Um, and when, when I did do it a lot more often, which was, I, I had a little bit more free time back in, like, November, there wasn't anything going on. Uh, I was hitting Kyber consistently with going and doing my GAC scouting and just looking at everyone's stuff. Um, and something else you also might want to do just to get a note of how someone looks. Um, let's switch back to here. Alright, so it is going to, whoops, it is going to show all my favorites at the top, but something you can do is go here, whoops, if you sort the roster by speed, speed is such an important factor, you know, with how teams work. So you can see and you can go and look at what their fastest characters are. And that can also kind of help you determine, like, if you can beat their teams that they'll set on defense. So for me, I, I need to work on mods. Um, so I don't have whole lot going on in the speed department. My fastest character here, for instance, is Luke. He's at 307. Which, it's not bad. But if you go to... You know, so let me... I guess I can use the other person's roster for this. So if you hit inventory... And then you can see, you know, here's all their characters, and it sorts by power. So you can see a, you know, a 3 Zeta f Relic 5... JKR. He's got Relic Padme, Shakti, you know, Relic some droids. So you can see he's got a lot of power going on on his roster for sure. And then if you sort by the speed, you can see his fastest character is actually Padme with 268, only not plus 90 speed on her. Which makes me think he might not have the greatest mods going on see a 231 JKR. Uh, back when, if you recall, back when JKR was meta, you wanted 300 or more speed. Uh, so a 268 Revan just doesn't work that well. See a 221 CLS. So for me, I may have actually, I may actually have a decent time against uh, this individual because of the quality of mods. But that's not really what this video is about. This is just about scouting. Um, some people go an extra amount, and they go here, uh, and some people scout each person uh, in the bracket, which that's not a bad idea. So you can go and you can see, you know, here's this person, he's one of the ones that already has a win, you can see, you know, 4 Zeta, 6 Star Gas, Relic 4 Grievous, GBA, Wampa, Luke. So you can kind of see that it looks like he's almost going for uh, JML a little bit. With the Relic, Luke, Vader, 3PO, and Chewie going on. Uh, then there's Lord Chuckles, which that's who I lost to on round 1. You can see Vader, Grievous, Darth Revan, Yoda. You know, basically, you just look at the roster and you can see. I mean, I'm sure you hopefully know how to look at a roster. And you can just, you know, see what's going on. Yeah, like Seven Star Zeta Mandalorian. 
mix for decent character. Now, there's one extra part you can do for scouting that I'm not too familiar with, because I don't know what a lot of the numbers mean. But one part, you can look at the lifetime banners, 500,000, and then the stats. You scroll down, and you can see the, all the championship stuff. You know, how many offensive battles they've won, 1,100. How many defends they've had, 300. How many full clears, how many times they've undersized. Uh, so that shows that both confidence and quality of roster slash mods being able to undersize battles. Um, and you can see their best rank, you know, so that kind of lets you know, one, how much they care, or two, if they're, if they're good or not. You know, the people who don't care as much might not really make it to Kyber. They might still be, you know, in a rhodium or even chromium. But I assume if you're watching this video, you care. Um, so, you know, looking at me, for instance, Division One Kyber 391. Which, that's not too bad. Um, but some people, I think I have him on my roster. Or whatever you want to call this. I do need to clean this out. Um, I was gonna try. I was gonna try and show off. Lab monkey. Here we go. So if we go to Lab Monkey, we go to his stats. Division two, Kyber five fifty three. But if we look, undersized battles five hundred and twelve. Right. That is four times mine. Successful defense, 342. Offensive battle, 1, 1288. Um, almost 600,000 lifetime banners. So, you know, just looking at him versus me, he's just, he's a lot much, he's a lot better at Grand Arena. He cares more, and he also just, he has a better roster as well. I mean, look at all this stuff. And if we sort by speed, if we go ahead and look at him, well, okay, we can skip him, that's a GL. All right, but Hermit Yoda, 324. All right, Jedi Knight Revan, he's missing a mod, but 140, or, sorry, 311 speed on JKR. That is mod quality, being able to have, you know, characters above 300. I don't know why JKR is missing a mod, um, but that's that's fine. Uh, here's CLS, 300 speed. Uh, Darth Revan's another character you want fast. I mean, Darth Revan's just like Jedi Knight Revan with wanting speed. So they're 301 speed Darth Revan. Uh, 299 BSF. You know, so that shows that quality of mods will also help with a really good Grand Arena score. I mean, 600,000 lifetime banners helps a lot. I probably should have looked at ships more as well, because you, there's certain key ships that help a lot with trying to do things. Like, the TIE Bomber will make uh, Empire Fleets work really well. Uh, the Rebel Y-Wing is also a really good tank. Uh, there's a relic Biggs for his X Wing. Yeah, there's sort of certain ships that you can take a look at and and you will know uh that they'll have a decent fleet. So there's there's Falcon. Uh really some of the newer ships you do want to look for are the Y Wings and the TIE Bomber. Because a seven star Y Wing it it just makes the defense for the fleet so much better. I have holds. I have a lot of holds with my rebel fleet, actually. I've also been rambling a lot, and I apologize for that. Since this is the first video that I have made for the podcast. But um, I also think that about covers how to scout for things. 
I hope that that lab will approve because it's because it's lab and you know I just I know him to be really good at Grand Arena and he cares a lot about it too hopefully if you're watching this you care a decent amount about it and hopefully this video helped and knowing how to scout out your opponents you know look at their offense look at their defense to help set your own offense and defense um and if you're confused either or if you're confused on some of the teams you know there's the bots in the server that uh will you know they can show you the counters or there's also all the people in there that you can just ask you know hey what do i use against geos what do i use against this that and or the other thing and um I think that's it. I want to thank you all for watching, and I really hope that this will help you scout your Grand Arena opponents and get you more victories down the road. I have been Oryx, and I thank you for watching. Have a good evening, or day, or night. Have a good time.